All right, next up, marketing awesome sauce. Okay, today we are going to talk about the fact that. What are we talking about? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Anyways, it's Facebook. About Facebook. Yeah, that's right. Facebook dumps likes in the new CPC, that's cost per click calculation to focus on performance outcomes. So here's the deal, if you don't know. Um, when you would buy ads on Facebook, they would equate the overall cost per click would include a lot of engagement things like number of people that like and shared the, uh, the post. Mm -hmm. Well, Facebook has been slowly but surely turning the way that um, what what buying ads on Facebook means it used to be all about engagement But now it's all about more and more about actually driving traffic that converts wow. And so the deal is that in the in the, 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 the coming months or maybe 90 days I think it is you are going to see a change in What is an action in your cost per click and it's going to be more along the lines of like people that click through your site and this article right here talks about what counts as a link click. It, uh, let me get this bigger, let's embiggen at you. For you, clicks on the visit to visit another website, call to action button clicks that go to another website, clicks on call now buttons and click to call ads, clicks to install an app, clicks to Facebook Canvas apps, which are native to the site, and clicks on a vi view to a video of another website such as YouTube. So uh, what do you think, man? Is that good or bad? You care? I like it. You like it. Why do you like it? Um, I like it because I think the data that you get from these is going to be, I don't know, it's more like they say here, it's like just a more precise view. And whenever you're dealing with numbers and spending money and yeah. stuff like that, like you want as much clarity into what these things mean as possible. Yeah, exactly. So one thing that is going to be potentially um, disturbing to people is if you start tracking, if you're if you're if you're looking at your statistics over time, mm -hmm. they're going to be wildly different when this goes into place versus what you were getting. Mm -hmm. So your your click through traffic numbers are actually going to plummet, mm -hmm. and. You probably need to prepare the higher ups for this if they like to look at those numbers. I think a lot of people don't even realize what those numbers mean now. Right. Because it's always been kind of like confiscated. You yeah. Know? Like just like, ah, I don't pay attention. Yeah. Just know that you get this click through rate. And, That's right. And they're engaging with you. And That's what's it's important. Nice. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I think actually that made it a tough sell for people in the beginning. Yeah. Because they're like, great, now I'm paying for engagement? Yeah. Like, what is right. that? Right. What does that mean? Like, what did I get out of that? Are they going to buy my product? Right, right, you right. Know? And so now I think people have come around because it's been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not what people want. The, the marketers don't want that. They're trying to sell product. Right. Typically online, people are trying to sell product. It's not a lot of brand recognition. Right. Um, and that's weird to me, honestly. I don't understand exactly why we always are acquisition-based online, but if you were to buy a TV spot, you would just be like, oh, well, it's branding. It's brand awareness, you know? But on the internet, always turns to acquisition. Yep. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I like this. I've been focusing on conversion tracking at Facebook for our own ads in particular for mm -hmm. some time. And that's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not actually really confident how great their conversion tracking is from a reliability standpoint. Yeah, well, I, that's I don't know. Issue, yeah. Hard to quantify, or maybe I should dig well, into it more. Facebook doesn't tell you much either. Yeah. There's not like, I mean, if you get into their like help sections and stuff, it's just developers talking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Nobody really knows what the rules are, or what's right, happening. There's right. no instructions or anything. It's just like, yeah, hey, just do it. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. Mr. V says, I love the fact that your audio and video are so out of sync. It's like an old Bruce Lee movie with awesome voiceover. That's, we aim for that. B movie all the way. Yeah, maybe we could 
Just watch a Bruce Lee movie. Sometime. That would be great. I don't know what happened, Mr. V. It used to be in sync. Um, I did something to my computer. I think it would, I had to swap out the, the motherboard. And then I plugged everything back in. And ever since, the, the sound and video has been all jacked up. Oh, why don't you fix so, it? I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, if it was too polished, people wouldn't know where they were. I, I, you know, I like things being off kilter just so they're like, oh, yeah, that's Sage and Greg. Oh, look at you with the timer. I know. I love it. Um, so would you say would you say that people should potentially try uh, Facebook ads if they haven't tried them? Yes. You think it's do you think it's worthwhile? Yeah. Especially with this new layout, right? It's more like um, buying pay-per-click in AdWords, which people have been doing for a long the time. The management of it will be more like that. More yeah. like that. Yeah. And you can maybe compare it more apples to apples, I suppose, yeah. right? Social ads and stuff. I mean, they can be, they can work fantastically. Yeah. I mean, you, can, you can bomb too. I mean, sure. there's plenty of people to bomb, but that's kind of the way it goes in any form of advertising. Right? Yeah, that's. I think that's right. I, the more you can do in in social media, I I, I love the fact that that. that Facebook is doing such innovative stuff and really, you know, making Facebook a viable advertising platform for advertisers, I think is so awesome. And it should push the entire social media advertising mm -hmm. um, environment. I would love someday to actually see LinkedIn get conversion tracking. That would be novel, being it's the <laughs> business social media site. Oh, what they're doing over no, there. It's weird. Oh, yeah, it's there. crazy. Uh, let's see. My my connection is fine and synced. All right. Super affiliate Jay Gold, new, I guess, says it's good. Just your perspective based on your connection. So it's not a fact. <laughs> Which part? I don't know. All Probably right. Any of this. Yeah. Yeah. None of this. There is a, there's an asterisk at the bottom of the show, Jay, that says none of this is fact and we don't know what the hell we're talking about. So, you know. Right. So welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, should we move on to the next most exciting part of the show? Is it going to be the most exciting part? I, it's I'm, the part I'm probably looking forward uh, to. I'm pretty most. excited. Yeah. This, okay, so let's, let's, we're in this segment then, that, right? Yeah, that's so, it. Marketing Awesome Sauce over. Don't forget. Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe on, on the our, YouTube. On the YouTube, really. Without it, we're nothing, literally. Yeah, that you is know. it. So please, Please, that's the payment. Yeah.